Welcome to Team 1's presentation on queuing theory. What are queues? A queue is the act of waiting in line. It is a first-in, first-out order and can apply to people, computer data, or other processes, such as vehicles waiting to be serviced or attended to. As we know, queues are a common everyday experience. Queues form because resources are limited. In fact, it makes economic sense to have queues. Examples of queues are waiting for service in a bank or store, waiting for a response on a computer, or waiting for a ride on a train or bus. What is queuing theory? Queuing theory is the mathematical study of waiting in lines or queues. It is a prediction of queue waiting times and can be used to make business decisions about needed resources. Queuing theory involves multiple models, including single and multiple lines, single and multiple servers, and any combination of the two. Despite the different variations of models, all of them have three aspects that may cause an issue with the ideal model. This includes the arrival process, the service mechanism, and the queue characteristics. If one of these aspects does not operate as intended, the queuing model fails and customers become dissatisfied due to an inefficient process. To maximize business efficiency and achieve customer satisfaction, the organization must choose the queuing model that works best for them. The two most popular models are either a single line with multiple servers or multiple lines with multiple servers. A single line with multiple servers has shorter average wait times, promotes fairness on a first-come, first-served basis, reduces the stress on a customer to choose a line, and reduces customers jockeying between lines to try and be in the most efficient one. Alternatively, a multiple line model with multiple servers creates flexibility. It gives the customer the power to choose which line to be in. It also deters bulking, leaving, and choosing not to stand in line at all because they are at the mercy of only one waiting option. Ultimately, a single line with multiple servers is generally the most efficient queuing model to use in business. Next, we'll discuss some single line and multiple line model examples and why a certain business or industry may choose one over the other. First, some examples of single line models include walk-in bank lines and restaurants where you wait to be seated. Single line queuing allows businesses to minimize the required staff and resources needed to provide service to customers while maximizing profit. Take for example, an airline ticket and check-in counter. Passengers will line up in a roped off single line to check in and then individually approach one of several agents for service. The same waiting line structure is frequently found at the post office where customers wait in a single line for service from one of several postal clerks. Some examples of multiple line models include grocery stores with multiple checkouts, such as regular and express checkouts, multiple drive through bank teller windows, and multi-lane toll booths. Multiple line queuing provides customers the most responsive service for their requests. From a business's perspective, they are able to provide services to a higher volume of customers by allocating more resources that can handle the additional requests for service. An example of this model is a grocery store that offers an express checkout lane for customers who are only purchasing a few items. The express checkout provides these customers the benefit of saving time. In turn, the grocery store is able to process more transactions and achieve a higher sales volume overall. Companies have to increase their customer satisfaction to stay competitive. In services, waiting has a great impact on service level and customer satisfaction. In time-based competition, one of the main objectives of service companies is to minimize customer waiting. Manage it, managing the customer's perception of the queuing experience can play a huge role in satisfa satisfaction with the service interaction. In fact, the primary issue in queuing management and customer satisfaction is not the actual amount of time a customer waits for service, but instead it is the customer's perception about that wait and the associated level of satisfaction. The cost of more workers to aid the speed of service must be evaluated against the additional profit created by the increased speed of meeting customer demands. Take, for example, a telephone system in a typical call center. No one wants to waste time waiting in a queue the whole reason customers are calling is because they want immediate support and answers. Very often, lengthy call center queues are related to sub-optimal staffing. The obvious reason would be that the call center is understaffed or has long handle times where a call is taking longer than expected. This could be a result from unqualified agents or complicated questions from callers related to a product or issue. Case in point, a highly satisfied customer will be very likely to provide repeat business and spread the positive experience by word of mouth. 
This will result in increased revenues and profitability. On the flip side, a dissatisfied customer will most likely not provide repeat business and will be more than willing to share his or her bad experience with whoever will listen. This will have an obvious negative effect on profits and revenues. Simply put, as waiting time decreases, satisfaction increases. Queuing is the irritating task of waiting in line, and queuing theory is the study and process of improving that wait time. As you can see, single line multiple server is the most efficient. However, depending on perception, multiple line multiple server may be more satisfying to the customer. The purpose of queuing theory is to better understand the process of waiting and shorten those wait times. This will help achieve faster customer service by weighing the benefits of paying more workers and whether or not it will increase the profit enough to be beneficial. Thank you for joining Team One's presentation on queuing theory.